Hello there and welcome. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to create consistent characters in Stable Diffusion. This is something that many people were waiting for since the beginning. Because creating some kind of character is nice and all, but what if you want to create different images with the same exact character? What if you want him to wear different clothes and have him in different poses or facial expressions? It was technically possible before with image to image and in painting, but it would take a long time and even then the result would be unimpressive. All of this has changed with ControlNet, which is a groundbreaking extension for staple diffusion. And it can actually do much more than just create consistent characters. Maybe in the future I will do other tutorials about the various capabilities of ControlNet, but in this episode we are going to use ControlNet to generate different images with the same exact character. So I assume you already have the automatic 11.11 web UI, this is what I use to run Stable Diffusion. If you don't have this web UI, you can find a link in the description for an installation tutorial. And if you're new to Stable Diffusion, you can also check out my beginner's tutorial. But anyway, this web UI is required to use ControlNet. Now we want to install the ControlNet extension. So we go into extensions, available, load from. When it's done loading you need to find the ControlNet extension from this list and to make it easier you can just press Ctrl F and then type in ControlNet. So we need this SD Web UI Control Net extension. Then click on install, I already have it installed. Then go back to the install tab and apply and restart UI. Then you're going to see that the Control Net extension is installed. To be sure that it's actually installed, go to the text to image tab and you're going to see this Control Net section with the version. So how do we actually use it? Let's expand this section. This is where we select the specific control net capability that we are interested in and provide the reference image. As I told you, control net can do a lot of things, but in order to create consistent characters, we're going to use the reference only tool. So we click on preprocessor and we select reference only. And with reference only, we basically tell control net, I'm going to provide you a reference image. So then use this image as an example for all the other images that I will create. So first we need this reference image of the character you want to become consistent, the character you want to create over and over again. Now, because I don't want to waste time on creating a completely new character and spend even more time to make it look good, I will use this image that I already created in Stable Diffusion. After all, this is not a tutorial about how to create good images of characters, but how to make your character look the same in other images. Images. So you should already have a nice looking image of your desired character that you spend time on creating and perfecting and this will be your reference image. Now the cool thing is that you don't have to necessarily use an image you generated with Stable Diffusion. You can just open Google and find a character, download the image and then provide it as the reference. ControlNet doesn't need it to be an image file generated with Stable Diffusion. It can be a photo you took with your phone or even a screen Shot. You may not get the same good results that you will have with an image generated by Stable Diffusion, but it will create a very similar character. So let's say we want to see our character wearing something else. So we need to first drag this image into this control net slot. So one way to do it is just drag the image inside or click over here and select the image. Next, in order for ControlNet to actually work, we need to enable it over here. So these are the three things we need to do. We need to add an image, we need to set the preprocessor to reference only, and we need to enable ControlNet. There are other settings as well, but we're going to talk about them a bit later. So now we're going to scroll to our prompt and we're going to add some kind of description for this new image that we want to create. So we're going to say something like a photograph of a woman in a red dress because we want to see our character in a red dress. Then of course we still need to add some style modifiers and to set all the different settings that we usually put, the resolution, the steps, but all of this is just to make sure that our output image looks good. So I'm going to change the steps to 25, 
I'm going to increase the resolution and I'm going to set some kind of style. And now that all of this is done, we're going to generate a few images. So we can see this one and we can see this one and we can see that it really resembles our image. And of course, like with any other image, we can keep working on it. We can send it into InPaint or maybe image to image. We can upscale it. But for now, let's just create a few more examples. So let's say something like, So we got a bunch of results and we can see that the same woman appears in all of them. Now, of course, the pictures are not perfect. There are a lot of strange things going on, but this is just stable diffusion and that's the way it works. And you always need to keep perfecting the image. You can just run it through InPaint or through image to image. But the point is that we do get this same face and the same body and even the same hair. And these are just a few other examples for using this same exact reference image, but getting different clothing styles, different colors, and we can definitely see the resemblance. So we have a few other options. The important ones to know about is this control mode. So usually we use balanced, but we can also use my prompt is more important and will basically pay more attention to the prompt and less to our reference image. And then we have this control net is more important. So it will pay more attention to the image and less to the prompt. The second one is this style fidelity. And this is only available for the balance mode. And this is just a way to keep some of the style of our reference image. So if we don't want this style to be kept, we can just lower it to something like 0.2 and then control net will create its own style or take the style from this prompt and apply it to the output. Because you can see that we got a very similar style inside our output images like the ones that we had inside the reference image. So let's see an example. If I'm going to lower it to let's say even 0.1 and just generate two images. So now with this style fidelity set on a very low value, we are no longer using this style for these images. We are still using the same model, but we can see that the background has changed and the light has changed and even the character has changed a bit. It still resembles this one, but because we decrease this, it's also going to affect the way she looks. So usually you want to keep it at 50%. There's a reason it's the default value. You can also make it all the way to one and let's see what happens then. It will probably look very much like this one. So now that we set the style fidelity to one, our output images look more like our reference image. So the style, the light, the gray background, everything looks very much like our reference image. The important part is to understand what the style fidelity does. Usually I just keep it at 0.5. I use balanced mode and I'm not touching all of this. There are these options over here, and this is just when we want control net to actually start intervening inside the generation of the image. So for example, we use zero and one, it means that it will intervene the entire time. If we set it to be at 0.5, it means that only halfway through, it will start using this reference image and then it's going to continue using it. So for the first half of the generation, it's going to just create some kind of random woman and then it's going to take over. So you can play around with this and see if it actually helps you achieve something. I'm not touching these things. It just stands on zero and one. So there's a lot more to say about control net. We also see all the different capabilities it has, but for now we can actually create consistent characters. 
And again, it still needs some work. So even after you generate these images, you need to work on them because that's the workflow and site stable diffusion. So that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see similar content in the future. And also to support me, you can also leave a like that will help the algorithm. And see you next time.